Hello, welcome to another video. Unlike all my other videos, this one is not going to show any gameplay. It's purely technical and we're going to dive into upgrading because I made a simulation here. Um, I tried to make it as realistic as possible. And if you don't care about all the technicals and, and uh, how I did it, then you can just skip to the end of the video and look at the results. But if you care about why it's working, then you should watch the video. So, um, where did we start? Um, first of all, I went into the game and looked at all the upgrade chances. I wrote this down in a table right here. And this is later used in a formula to, well, make the simulation work. So, first of all, I had to know what is the chance to guess plus one, plus two, plus three, or minus zero, minus one, minus two, because this is uh, essential to the simulation and to have a realistic outcome. So what did I do? I used a third party program and I basically had to tell the program, look, this color means it's this level. This color is this level. And then I had to start upgrading and it needed to write down every single level from every upgrade process into a text sheet. So I upgraded like five to 10,000 individual times. And every single time when the number changed or the level of the item, it would write that down into a text sheet. Um, well, that is this. Um, there are some errors, like for example, there is a lot of 19s here and that is clearly false, but that's not really a problem. I could import this into Excel, remove all these errors and I also removed all the 14s to 13s, the 12 to 11s because I was downing as I was doing so. Um, from there, it was a pretty easy step to analyze the data. And as you can see here, this is what I came up with. The chances if we fail to stay at the same level are 21%. The chance to go down by one level is 34% and to go down by two levels is 44%, which makes sense that minus two has the highest percentage because it makes upgrading harder and that would be good for GameForge back in the day blah 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 um, for positive upgrades it's 33 percent which makes sense now based on these numbers I could generate these two rows basically this is just um, a num random number generator from one to three which aligns with this number but for the down formula I had to make an extra row where it's RNG numbers one to hundred. And basically I made a formula. If it's the first 21 numbers, then it's a zero. If it's the 21 to, I don't know, something 55, apparently, then it's a one and the rest is a two. So that's why I have this number here, but for now we don't need this. So I'm going to close this. All right. That's all the groundwork we need for this simulation to work. Now, I made the assumption that we always start with plus 11. And now this is the formula. Every single cell is using this formula. So we have to know if this works. Um, first of all, what does it do? Basically, since you can't, if you can't read it, uh, read it because it's German, it's an if function which means if this happens, we do this. If this happens, we do this. And if this happens, we do this. Now, let's look at the individual steps. So I'm telling the program, if it's either a 22, 23 or 24, then you return me 11. 
which just means if we upgrade to 22, 23 or 24 that we don't want to upgrade further and waste the up, but rather we start a new with a new weapon. Okay, then there's two cases. We can either have a successful upgrade and it basically looks at the number 02, which is one of, oops, which is one of these random numbers here. And it compares it to S for vice. What is S for vice? Well, it looks at the number that is in A2, which is 11. It goes into this table and it responds with the corresponding number to 11. So which would be 100. So essentially this is comparing the number in O2 to the corresponding number with 11, so 100. Is 35 smaller than 100? If yes, then this is our answer. It's a 12. Now, if we are at a higher number, for example, here, uh, I mean, I just want to look at a fail now. So this row looks at the number above. So we are looking at 15, 15 has the number 24, but we are bigger than 24. So it's an, uh, it's a, it's a failure and we basically go down. Okay. So. On this, we multiply, uh, we add whatever is written in this P line. And if it fails, we are subtracting whatever is written in the Q line. Okay. That's the theory behind it. So let's, let's make a few tests. If it works, 11 goes up by one, it's, it's a 12, 12 goes down by two. It's a 10, 10 is hundred percent. So plus two, it's 12. 12 plus 3, 15. 15 fails, stays, 15 again, and so forth. Um, to be 100% sure that it works, I'm going down somewhere very deep into this formula and look at maybe a higher number if we find one um, here. There's a 20 here and we fail. 20 we go down minus 1 we're at 19 we fail 19 we go down mi minus 1 18 12 um, 16 minus 2 14 so yeah it seems to work um, there's one more condition let's see what happens if we actually get a 22 23 or 24 so I'm going to scroll through this sheet and there should be some red outlining if there actually is one of the higher upgrades. Which <laughs> there doesn't seem to be one, but there's one. Um, okay, so from 19, we go down, uh, we go up by three and we get a 22. And from 22, it does not look at these numbers, but it goes back to 11. So that's working as well. Now that we have this, we can extract all these informations right here. Um, for the things, I would just look at whether or not we stay at the same level or we go down. So if A2 is bigger or the same as A3. So if this is bigger or the same, return. Um, one otherwise zero which means if we go up it's a zero and if we go down it's a one if we stay at the same level like here it's a one as well and this way i can count how many things were used okay right so in the 50k lines that this is uh, going through and simulating upgrading Let's see how many lines this is. Um, 50,707 lines. And we use 31,236 tinctures. Obviously, we use as many masters and sirens as there are lines in this document. 
And for the upgrade cost, we basically look at how many 11s, 12s, 13s, blah, blah, blah we have, and we multiply it with the res uh, representative cost in silver. And then we divide it by 1000 to get not a silver number, but a gold number. Now, let's talk about probabilities. Um, we have a great many numbers on the low upgrades, obviously. And we have not so many numbers, not so many uh, big numbers on the higher ranking levels, which is also obvious. Now, what this means that if we want to get an average, we obviously divide the things that we have with whatever number is here and we get an average. So if we wanted to get an average for plus 20, oops, we would say 31,000 divided by 250. And this would give us an average of 124 things for plus 20. Now, for the small numbers, this is all right and it does work. But now we only had four 22s, okay? So what's the average to get a 22? 7,800 things. I'm going to press F9, which refreshes the document and gives me a new simulation. Now it's 2,400. We got way more 22s and we have a very big discrepancy in the outcome. So these 50K lines alone are not enough to get to give us accurate results. So I had to write a macro which takes basically the things and the gold as well as 20 to 24 and it pasted these values in here. It would then refresh the document, paste the new values in here and it would do this for 1000 lines. Now, whoops, the outcome of this is as follows. 31 million things, 240,280. We used 1,000, we actually used more than 1 million gold, like 1.5 million gold. And here is just the raw numbers of 20, 21s, 22s, 23s, and 24s that we've got. Now, I have made the averages by dividing the things with the number itself. And as you can see, we approximately per single tincture, we pay 48, uh, yeah, 48 silver on top, just because the upgrading fee is uh, so much. And that's actually ridiculous. If you, if you look at the tink prices, which is like 200 silvers right now, that's, uh, that's like 25% of that. Anyways, the averages, we're all very excited to see the numbers. 121 things for plus 20, 573 things for 21, roughly 6,000 6, for 22, 28,000 for 23, that's quite a lot, and 117,000 for 24, that is crazy. Now, this is a simulation, keep that in mind. This is outside of 4Classic. It's not using the underlying formula that 4Classic is using. I might be using all the right percentages, but the mathematical technicals that are running in the background are probably most likely not the same. So I asked two renowned upgraders to, if they could you know, provide me with their upgrading numbers and they did. One of them is XS. Now XS, he always used minus one formula on level 12 and level 14. These are, these are his averages. Now 121, 132, which that's okay. But now, hence the video, the averages here, there are huge discrepancies. And that's why I'm saying upgrading is a scam. We used all the right percentages, but there's so big differences. And how can that be? This is a, this is a realistic stimulation. 
However, the real-time stats that we have from real players from the Discord app are so different. Almost 1,700 things more for 22 average. That is crazy. Now let's look at Nipple's numbers. Nipple used like 150k things at the point where, when I made this average. So um, 20 and yeah, well, I don't like the, the gap here. 1,200 real time versus 573. Let that sink in. More than twice, twice as many. That is not okay. 22 is relatively close, I like that. And 23 is, he, he seems to have been very lucky. <laughs> he also seems to have been very, very lucky on the 24s, apparently. Um, yeah. This is what you wanted to know. This is what you came here for, and this is what you got. All these numbers, I, I there, I, there were so many people asking for the concrete numbers here. What actually are the percentages? Now you know. Now you know the averages for upgrading 24. As I said, this is a simulation and not, not an accurate representation of what 4 Classic is doing. So by no means I'm telling you you get a 24 guaranteed if you use 117,000 things. Um, there's also a point to be made about standard deviation, which is not included in this video at all. If we look, if we were to look at standard deviations, there would be probably like uh, the standard deviation would be something like 50,000. So you could probably have two standard deviations um, above the average, which would put you at like 200k, um, which would mean that 96% of all of all of 24s would be upgraded in a range of 1,000 to 200,000 things. But you could be the unlucky 4% outside of this range that doesn't get it, whatever. That's kind of too technical for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and a subscribe and see you next video. If you want to, uh, that is if you want to see the adjusted chances for using the Serendipity potions here. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.